I know there's no way I'm alone in saying that one of my favorite things to watch are some of the hilarious hot mic moments that happen on the ice, and I'm right there with many in saying that I'd pay a premium just to watch games with mic'd up players and coaches so we could really hear what they're saying out there. Well, right next to those, for me, what I also love is when commentators get caught with hot mics. And last night, there was a hilarious pregame moment from the Colorado feed of the game against Washington that was definitely not supposed to be broadcast of Mark Moser talking about seagulls. Just take a listen. Dude, that seagull. Oh, my God. Ah, dirty bastard. I don't even know, like, I don't even know, like, like the seagulls that live at the dump here in Colorado, like, where do they live? What do, I mean, where's their house? First, I want to know where the seagulls live. They don't live in a nest. They have webbed feet. They have to live on the ground. (laughs) Just so good. Now, the actual broadcast obviously wasn't censored, but I just don't want to alarm the YouTube police here. But what adds to this story even more is that apparently a seagull stole Moser's McMuffin in Vancouver last week. And he actually happened to retweet his pregame warm-up of him punching a seagull last night. So I almost assume this is the seagull he was referencing, but pretty fitting that this hot mic would come on this night, growing the legend of the seagull even more. (laughs) I just thought this was absolutely gold. Now, as for the game itself, it was a good one. The first one came as McKinnon drives the net, takes a hit, and is somehow able to not only stay up, but get the puck up to Lykanen, who scores, and the Avalanche go up first. Then, just two minutes into the second, in the Capitals' end, McDermott puts one on net, and they score again. And this one gets deflected in front by Cogliano, so he gets his eighth of the year, and they're up by a pair. But, answering right back in similar fashion, this time Fairvery puts one on net, and the Capitals score. This one got deflected in front by Sh- Cherry just squeaks one in and they're back to within one. A little later in the period, on a beauty of a rush, Newhook just outskates everyone, gets an edge, and scores his 11th of the year, ripping one blocker side post and in. But that was it for the second, so on to the third we go. Now the third was full of chances back and forth, but off an offensive zone face-off, the Avalanche let Ovechkin get all alone, and like we've seen so often, he rips one in from his office for his 31st of the year, and the captain gets him back to within striking range. Now despite outshooting the Avs and getting ever so close here, Georgiev was able to come up big, and the Avs hold on to win this one 3-2. But that's it for me in this one, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.